2015 Canadian Open Mathematics Challenge Part A. A palindrome is a number where the digits read the same forwards or backwards, such as 4774 or 505. What is the smallest palindrome that is larger than 2015? If this number is now going to be a palindrome, we want to make sure that it's as close to 2015 as possible, right? So most likely, if the first digit is 2, the last digit is going to be 2 also, right? Because we're not going to go into the 3,000s or 4,000s. And then we've got this 0 here. So if I put a 0 here, the 0 would have to be there also to make it a palindrome. But this number, 2002, is not larger than 2015. So even though that's a palindrome, we can't use that. So what I will do is just use that 1 there, this 1 right here. So I'll keep that 1, but I'll put the 1 there. Now this number is a palindrome, and it is indeed larger than 2015, and it's the smallest palindrome that's larger than 2015. So there you go. That is the answer. In the picture below, there are four triangles labeled S, T, U, and V. Two of the triangles will be colored red, and the other two triangles will be colored blue. How many ways can the triangles be colored such that the two blue triangles have a common side? If the two blue triangles have a common side, possibilities include S, V, meaning those two triangles will be colored blue, or V, T or V, U. If you have any other combination for the two blue triangles, they will not share a common side. For example, S and U do not share a common side. S and T don't. U and T don't. Like that. So, these are the only possibilities. So, very quickly, I guess, we've got a situation where this S is here right and V is here so there's one and then VT is this is V and this is T and then VU is V and U and then once those are colored blue the other two triangles are colored red so that means this is red this is red and this is red and that's it. Those are the only sort of scenarios. So, in how many ways? Well, one, two, three ways is the answer to this question. In the given figure, ABCD is a square with side lengths of four, and Q is the midpoint of CD. ABCD is reflected along the line AQ to give the square AB prime, C prime, D prime. The two squares overlap in the quadrilateral ADQ D prime. Determine the area of quadrilateral ADQ D prime. So the square has side length 4, so that means that's 4 right there. And then this Q cuts DC in half because it's the midpoint, so that means D to Q, that length is 2. And because of the symmetry of this diagram, this quadrilateral ADQ D prime is really 2 times this triangle, right, because this triangle is the same as this triangle. So ADQD prime, which is basically this shape, would be 2 times ADQ. So 2 multiplied by the area of ADQ triangle. Well, the triangle ADQ, we can easily figure out that area. It would be 1 half base times height. The base is 2, and the height is 4. So that looks like 2 times 4, which is 8. And there you go. That's the answer to the question. The area of a rectangle is 180 units squared, and the perimeter is 54. If the length of each side of the rectangle is increased by 6 units, what is the area of the resulting rectangle? All right, so we've got one rectangle. And initially, they tell me that the area is 180. Now, I don't know the sides, so I'll just call the sides A and B. So th those are the dimensions. And they tell me that the perimeter is 54. So that means that 2A plus 2B is 54. And then I can divide through by 2 to get A plus B is 27. So that's the first piece of information. 
Then they tell me that if I took this triangle, oh, sorry, a rectangle, not triangle, and made it a little bit bigger, meaning I'm increasing each side length by 6, so this becomes A plus 6, this becomes B plus 6. If I do that, then the area is what I have to figure out. Well, obviously the area is length times width, which is A plus 6 times B. B plus 6, correct? So let's expand this. So this is BAB plus 6A plus 6B plus 36. Now AB I know, right? Because look at this diagram. The dimensions are A and B. So to get that area, we would have to have multiplied A times B. So AB is basically the area, which is 180. And here I can factor out the 6 and get A plus B. And then that's 36. A plus B is 27. So I've got everything I need. 6 times 27 plus 36. And when you crunch out these numbers, you get 180 plus 162 plus 36. And that equals 378. That is the area of the resulting rectangle.